today is definitely a good day for skating. The theme of today's skating session is wet. Wet weather, wet pavements and wet skater himself. It is really a very important issue of city skating because if the rain is sometimes good for practicing slides so other tricks on a good asphalt in some park, as for example in this video from Chaika City Skater, it is at the same time a great challenge for any city skater. Most of skaters are used to the dry skating, dry pavement, dry wheels and so on, and they don't really know how their skates will be on a wet surface. That can lead to some falling, or so even traumas. The strain of groin or inner thighs is the most common problem here. That's why I strongly recommend you to make some heating before and wet skating and any dry skating also, of course. As you can see, I'm using a very short and careful strides while moving on the wet surface. Although pedestrians don't have any bearings in their shoes, they don't like to walk through the water, so that is me who have to move through the puddles. And it requires from me even more careful and precise skating. When you are using the full strength push on the wet surface, your foot will almost definitely slide more than always. And that causes the strain that can spoil your skate practicing for a long time. Breaking on the wet surface is also a problem. Even the most reliable T-stop can be a problem here. I have just used the old kind turn stop because the simple dragon wasn't enough. The rain has stopped right before the start of my skating today. It was the real shower, even with some hail. My wife and daughter were outside, then it started and they got soaked to the bones almost immediately. However, I have even hoped that it will not end very soon. Because skating under shower is always an adventure. But not today, as you can see. I'm moving through the embankment of Fontanko River and then turn into a small street nearby. Here is the small but very rough part of the tile road, very shaky and noisy. And then some surface covered with the yellow wet leaves. It is rather easy to lose balance on them too. The wind is also mind-blowing, that's what I said, and that is really so. You can hear how it roars. Yeah, wonderful sound. You also have to be very careful while using the crossovers on the wet surface. Today I have only my knee pads, but if you watched my previous videos, maybe you have noticed that I'm usually using the wrist protection on my left hand. And that is exactly because of uh, one unlucky crossover on wet asphalt. My pushing leg just slipped away and I felt on the side, right on the hand. I've already had the old trauma on that wrist about 10 years ago, I was very fond of break dancing and most of exercises and freezes I had made on that hand, so it was pretty heavy loaded. After that fall my wrist strained and the full recovery have taken about a month, so I am very afraid to traumatize that hand again. I'm not using the wrist protection for the right hand just because I've simply lost it. Now I'm on the Sadova street, one of the main historical streets of St. Petersburg, but I'm not for a long time here. Another bridge. And yes, that granite tiles are always a good test.
And so we are back on the slippery, glossy asphalt. Most of the streets in St. Petersburg are parallel and perpendicular to each other, and the squares between the streets are rather small, so you can have a great amount of routes to get from point A to point B, and I think that's great. The sidewalks here are rather narrow and it is difficult sometimes to get through the crowd. Another turn and we are now close to the main sign scene part of this video just a small straight sprint before. Yeah, that small streets are almost like aerodynamic wind tunnels sometimes. And here we are, Saint Isaac Square, and in the center of the square is the Saint Isaac Cathedral itself one of the most beautiful places in St. Petersburg. Let's try to take a closer look. In the center of the square is the monument to the Emperor Nikolai I. It will be to my right very soon. The normal strides are really out of control here, so I am using the only one available technique, so-called one-footed pedal or the scooter, in Russian we call it samakat. This car that appeared from the gateway really scared me a little, it moved rather quickly and had to brake abruptly, although I was moving in the crosswalk. Anyway, the driver was scared much more than me. And I'm turning to another one embankment, it is called English embankment. It's funny that I have met a lot of walking couples right on the embankment today, because that is the place where the marriages registry office is situated.
I've already said once that I don't like that wooden tunnels built during the reconstruction of buildings, but today the wet wood was a rather pretty surface to skate on. And I'm going further straight to the Blagovishinsky bridge, the bridge of Annunciation that you have already seen in my previous video. And I think that's all for today. I'm breaking with the help of ancient tiles of 19th century. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.